confirmed. What's going on there, Mech Warriors? All you Solaris 7 champions in the making? Ave Mortem here, and I've got a special build specifically for Solaris 7 that I wanted to highlight. It is the chassis is the Mad Dog uh, Revenant Hero from the Solaris 7 Championship Pack. Um, you got this for when you got the all the other Solaris 7 champions. And uh, I did this build on it, and I find it to be amazing. And so I wanted to share it with everybody. And so let's take a look at what we actually have here. Now, this chassis is uh, relatively unique uh, because it has three energy hard points in the right arm and three energy hard points in the left arm. And it also has two energy hard points in the center torso. So that means that you can have eight energy weapons in this torso. Um, it also has two missile points um, in the right torso and the left torso. So that is a total of 12 hard points on this chassis, okay? And again, the two center mounted energy hard points are like unique. There's no other mad dog out there uh, with that mounting. So what I did was uh, basically I put in heavy small lasers in both arms, put three, uh, put the center torso, heavy small lasers. I only put in two SRM6s um, in the torsos. I have uh, a targeting computer, Mark II. I filled up the rest of the space with uh, heat sinks. And of course I maxed out the armor, okay? Um, so that's basically what the layout looks like. It's heavy small laser heavy quote unquote. Now each small laser does 6.5 damage, right? So I have eight of them, okay? So, you know, if I just did a laser alpha strike, I'm looking at like 52 points right there, okay? And in the SRM6s, if I do an alpha, right? And so you got to figure they do 12 each. That's another 24, okay? Um, if assuming that I hit all in the same spot and I'm able to do it for the duration and, you know, all the other good stuff. Okay, and that is a 76 point alpha. 76 point alpha. That's pretty amazing, okay, if you ask me. The downside is that the range on the lasers, the optimal range is within 115 meters. Um, obviously once we get into skills, what I actually did, I mean, I did some range on the skills. Uh, I did the missiles. Okay. I did laser duration and I really focused on heat generation, heat generation. I mean, a couple cooldowns ended up in the mix. If I could have flipped the cooldowns to heat generation to knock that down, I would have, uh, Survival, I did the full tree on survival. Um, mobility. What, here's what I did with mobility. I gave myself two kinetic bursts, two torso yours, a hard break, and an anchor turn. Okay? And I'll get to the reason why in a second. Because originally when I skilled it out, you know, I focused on uh, the cool runs, the heat containment. Okay? I had heat containment here. Uh, I ended up taking off uh, these four skill points and putting them into mobility. And the reason was, was because against assault mechs, uh, I was not agile enough. I just, I really wasn't agile enough. Um, so I, yeah, I, I turned around and I lost two heat containments. And again, heat containment increases the threshold before you shut down. Um, but yeah. You know, I lost uh, the two of those, which was 6% uh, reduction or 6% increase at the shutdown mode um, in exchange for mobility. But honestly, the mech, I can alpha and I'm only at 70% heat um, because, again, with all of the heat sinks. And uh, then really the way that I, I grouped them was I grouped them by side. 
Um, you know, so this arm is uh, one grouping, this arm is another grouping, and then the center torso, the lasers, and the missiles, because the missiles have a similar range, okay? The, the missiles, their max range is 270. The heavy small laser, the max range is 230. So there's a 40 meter thing, you know, a 40, the missiles are 40 meters greater. Um, and, uh, but, it, you know, it's close enough. It's close enough. So, yeah, so really the trick is with this mech is that this is really a brawling mech. Uh, as soon as you come out of the elevator, hit that override button. And uh, as you're going to see in the next couple matches, um, it really actually performs really well. So let's check out some gameplay with it. All right, for this match, I find myself in the mech factory. Against the guy the who right online. now in the division is 2-2. Two -two. Online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hello, everybody. This is Duncan Fisher. Today we are coming to you from the factory. So... Evan Jag. This is going to be interesting to watch. I overheard the tech crews involved, and there was a lot of trash talking. This is going to be a highly competitive fight. Their stats are so to close to each other, may as well be the same I want person. To see where he's this gonna be. is going to be good. Target oh, and acquired. Look at that. He had the exact same idea that I did. And he just took my horns off. Come out pretty quick, but he's still late. He Yo, laid some smackdown on me. I don't think the winner even lost any. He laid some smackdown on me. Thing is, I had to I had to close that gap. I had to close that gap, and I outfit him a couple times actually. Yeah, so good match, good match. Here we are in the jungle, loud jungle. Solaris against oh excavated. No Sensors idea what he's piloting. Online. Weapons online. I'm in my mad dog revenant. Oh, it's a Kodiak. Great. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the jungle. I'm Duncan Fisher, bringing you all the fun and games from downtown Cathay. Okay. I'm going to try to keep myself. Between, uh, this could be entertaining, or it could be embarrassing. Let's find out. My arena senses are tingling on this one. These mech warriors are so close to each other in the standings that it's impossible to call the winner early. Space between me and him. Woo! Cody. 
Kodiak down. Kodiak down. Yeah. Nice. Ugh. I hate facing Kodiaks. Did 320, did 243. That's a win, folks. Kill confirmed. Once again, find myself in the jungle. Going against uh, KGP, the M420. Reactor Let's see what happens online. here. No idea Sensors what this guy's piloting. Online. Weapons Hoping it's uh, like a medium. Yep. Me and my beauty. And it's another Hello, Kodiak. this is Duncan Fisher, coming to you live from the largest Feral Creek right. Pyramid Arena in the Inner Sphere, the Jungle. Battle mechs, finely tuned machines of war. The mech warriors, the elite of the elite. Let's see who's got the brass to win. Oh, jeez. If I'm reading these stats right, there's no clear indication of who's going to win. This is gonna be a tight fight. Let's get it going. That was rough. Wow, did not expect that to happen, but it did. Phew, another Kodiak down. Ugh, like bear hunting today. 432, he did 470. Kill confirmed. I'm telling you, large part of it has to do with the map, large part of it has to do with the strategy. The mech doesn't hurt either. And this is a great Mac. So yeah, so this is my build for the uh, Mad Dog Revenant. Um, I'll be honest with you, I found it to be a really great mech. It's a Division 2 mech. Division 2, as you know, is huge as far as, um, you know, what goes on in Division 2. You have lights, you have mediums, you have heavies, you have assaults. You have pretty much uh, almost every mech chassis under the sun in division two i was doing really poorly in division two i was like down in like the like 1300 elo ranks and uh i ground i grinded away with the mad dog um for a couple hours uh on stream uh and i got above the 1500 mark so yeah um once it's skilled out this is a great mech um again it's a in close fighting laser vomit brawler you do have to watch your heat you do need to disengage and you know run around a little bit to cool down um you do need to turn around and alternate uh your weapon groupings um once you get that initial alpha off um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great mech and, uh, you know, you try to pick a, a map that works for you, uh, as far as your play style. Um, I really like the jungle, so I like the jungle. I like Steiner. Um, I don't, I haven't 
played a lot in the caves probably with this mech i'm gonna probably start for getting rid of boreal first because boreal this is not the mech you want in boreal okay because the mechs that do well in boreal obviously are the long range mechs and this is not a long range mech not in the slightest this is up close personal hug their faces show them your torsos your side torsos and you know just uh, go for those headshots and i've actually gotten i got like two headshots on atlases with this um although i tend to think it's more because of the opposing pilot as opposed to uh, my amazing marksmanship uh which really isn't that amazing so anyway so that's my build i hope you guys like it let me know what you think in the comments uh please check out the the stream sometime you can check out my blog check out check me out on twitter at ave mortem um and uh you guys have a great day have a great week good drops and uh hope all of your uh, your fights are fair in the uh solaris 7 arena there all right be well